everybody, it's Killjoy here, and I am really excited to be making this video for you all today. So a couple of weeks ago, I actually got this awesome controller in the mail for review from PDP Gaming. So this is the Wired Fight Pad Pro Pikachu Edition. So this controller released on November the 23rd for only $24.99 US dollars, which makes it cheaper than the official Nintendo GameCube style controller. And I've really just been dying to tear into it. Um, I got the Pikachu Edition here, but it also comes in a Link edition, so like a Breath of the Wild Blue with the Hyrulean Shield, and it also has a Mario Red edition. So all the three of the designs of this controller really look really good. But you know, I kind of want to open it and just see what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay guys, so like I said before, I've really just been dying to go ahead and open this thing, so I'm not going to wait too long. I'm just going to really dive right into it here. So I have kind of already pre-cut the tape to help myself out a little bit here. Because you know how unboxing something brand new can be sometimes. But it actually doesn't look like there's too much to work through here. So there's just enough to where you, your new product's going to feel secure. But it's also not going to be a huge hassle to go ahead and get into your controller. So here we got it. Oh, it, I can tell you just from initial impressions it does feel nice. It looks like here in this little baggie we do have some type of little C-stick. So remember how I was talking about how you can switch out this controller here with either the C-stick or the controller stick? So I am going to try that in this video just to see how difficult it is. But let's go ahead. We do have a little bit to work around here. Not Nothing too bad, though. Looks like we've just got some wire through the plastic. But yeah, look, I am actually already into it here. So that was not bad at all. So, you know, initial impressions, it does feel nice. I will turn it around here for a second just to kind of hold it. Um, the plastic, it's not very slick, so you're not going to have to worry about it slipping or sliding out of your hands. That was something I was initially worried about with this cheaper style controller. Um, but yeah, it looks nice. It feels nice. All the buttons seem nice and responsive. I can say that from, as somebody who owned a GameCube controller in the past, the, um, the buttons on the back here are actually a little bit shorter. Which is going to be nice because more modern controllers, you know, you don't have to push as far in order to go ahead and get that activation response from your button. So this controller is definitely going to satisfy that. But yeah, overall I'm pretty impressed. Let's go ahead and see how difficult it is to replace that Joy-Con with the C-Stick here. So it says all you have to do is snap it off. Wow, okay. That actually came off fairly easily. And then we're going to go ahead and snap, snap this on. Is that it? Wow. Okay, that was actually extremely easy. So something else you're going to notice here, similar to your old school style GameCube controllers, this one also does have these little divots here in the little socket. So for those of you that really like to get into combos and stuff and you feel that having those divots helps you, this controller is going to also satisfy that need. But wow, yeah, that was actually really easy. So I'm going to go ahead and snap it off again and actually put the old stick back on just for clarity's sake. But... Yeah, wow, that was actually, it was really easy. And despite how easy that was, it doesn't feel like it's loose and wobbly, so I'm not really concerned about it falling off mid-play. Something else I noticed about this controller right off, like your old GameCube controllers, you're actually going to have to go out and buy $20, $15, I don't know, a semi-expensive adapter to make that work with your Switch. This here actually comes with a USB-style adapter. So all you're going to have to do is plug it in, and it's going to work right away. So, you know, that's definitely really nice because every penny counts these days. But, yeah, initial impressions, I'm really impressed with this controller. Yeah, really impressed. So... We also see here we've got a big old bundle of cord this is actually quite a bit of cord um according to the package it looks like we have oh wow we've got 10 feet of cord here you guys so if you're worried about your console being too far away you know from you while you're sitting on the couch and plugging this controller in then you know you can go ahead and calm that fear because 10 feet of cord is quite a bit i don't think you're gonna have a big problem getting this to reach wherever you're sitting while you're playing your games but yeah, so far I'm really impressed. Really, really impressed. I really look forward to playing this whenever Smash Ultimate releases here in a couple of weeks. So without further ado, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in today, and I hope to see you again later. Bye! And that is it for this video. I hope you like what you see, and if you want to, maybe hit that subscribe button, or even check me out on one of my other platforms. Hope to see you again soon!